Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Flip Don't Flop. My name is Adrian Donovan, and this video we're going to be unboxing some online arbitrage. So these are pairs that we have purchased on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, in hopes of flipping them for a nice profit. Uh, if you haven't already, guys, please consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it. And I think with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. First up, we have a pretty big box here. It's an order from Poshmark. It's pretty heavy. I would imagine it's something that comes with the original box. But we'll have to see what it is. We do not know exactly what to expect with these pairs, of course. We examine the pictures as best as we can. However, a lot of times there aren't very many pictures included. The description is quite vague. So don't know quite to, what to expect. So it looks like we have a pair of Meslin with the box. Let's see what they are exactly. It's a pair that my wife purchased. So we have a pretty nice pair of men's Oxfords here. Uh, they have some genuine crocodile here on the toe, and they have some genuine crocodile like near the aglets here. It says there on the plate, genuine crocodile. They're in very, very good condition. And they do come with both, both dust bags. That is something that we definitely like to see. Even comes with a couple socks. I for sure don't want those. Those go in the trash. Yeah, they're in very, very, very good condition. A nice gray leather. Dust bags are in pretty good condition. A bit of discoloration on the dust bags, but it doesn't matter too much. At least they come with the dust bags. It's a nice addition. Kind of wish it had the retail price on this pair. Meslin is pretty expensive, especially the ones that have exotic skin on them. We do purchase quite a bit of exotic skin shoes with on arbitrage. It is a pretty good opportunity, but of course the price has to be right because some exotic skin shoes are way, way overpriced online. I wish these had more crocodile on them than what they do. Uh, considering they have a box, the two dust bags, and considering the amount of crocodile they have on them, I think we can sell this pair for about 150, I would say. Should be pretty fair. Let's see what we gave for this price, for this pair. Okay guys, we got these for a really killer deal, uh, all things considered. We gave $42.45 total for this pair of Meslin Oxfords. Uh, like I said, I think we can sell these for 140 to 150, uh, considering like what they include and their overall condition. So after fees and shipping, we should stand to profit about $80 on this pair of Meslin. That's an excellent find, great deal, and a very solid flip. Next up, we have a little bag that is from eBay. Pretty light pair. Okay, I remember purchasing these. So what we have here is a pair of Prada Ballet Flats. You can see they have the Prada spell out right there on the toes. They are a nice like tan color. Uh, we do sell tan colored shoes very well. They could use a bit of polish, but we do polish up most pairs of online arbitrage. These are actually in really good condition, I gotta say. There's not much heel wear. Uh, with these being tan, they of course are going to show pretty much every little imperfection. And there's really nothing to note. They're just in excellent condition. Very happy with the condition of these. 
Let's see what we gave for this pair. Okay, so it looks like we gave $52.42 total for this pair of Prada Belly Flats. They are in, like I said, really good condition. It's a nice colorway. We sell tan very well. Um, I think we can probably sell these for 120 pretty comfortably. Um, I think any more, trying to get any more than that for this pair, and they're probably going to sit for longer than what I would want to sit on a pair. So with that being said, after fees and shipping, we should stand to profit about $45 to $50 on this pair. Not a bad find. Moving right along here, we have a pair that is, looks like it's from eBay again. Okay, and I remember this pair too. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but we have seven pairs to unbox in this video. These are in excellent, excellent condition. So we have this here. It's like a side zip, almost like a gladiator style sandal. This is a pair of Gucci. They are a small size, they're like size five. But we sell Gucci so well, it almost doesn't matter what size it is. Um, if it's a smaller size, it will sell a little bit slower and for a little bit less money, but we sell all Gucci very, very well. And with this pair being so unique, as you can see, they have like the snake's skin, like in bows on the side. Um, it's not genuine snake skin, but it is, it is embossed. Um, excellent condition, very interesting style. I just wish there was something on there that said they're Gucci, uh, like GG monogram or the red and green like classic band on them or the B, anything like that. Of, of course, if that was the case, we could sell them for a lot more. We could probably sell this pair. Um, I think 140, 130, somewhere around that ballpark should be pretty easy to get for them. Uh, I would ask for more for them if they were a better size, but with them being size five, they're not going to sell for as much money, but let's see what we gave for this pair here. Okay, so it looks like for this pair of Gucci uh, Gladiator sandals, we gave $55.37. That's a really, really good price considering the condition they're in. And also, too, like, we almost always see a lot of scuffs on the heels with this type of material, and these do not have a single scuff at all. They are definitely in very, very good condition. And forgot to mention too, they're also definitely authentic. That's no question about it. Uh, after fees and shipping, we should stand to profit about $70 on this pair. Uh, those are very, very good margins. Exactly the kind of thing that we're looking for. Next up, we have another pair that is from eBay. All right, so what we have here is a pair of Prada logo slip-on moccasins. They are gray, they are suede. So when I purchased these, I definitely did my due diligence as far as checking to make sure that they didn't have any excessive discoloration or wear to the suede as it is really tough to do much of anything with suede. These are genuine. Everything indicates that they are genuine. For being suede, they're actually in pretty good condition. Uh, we actually use a lighter and a Puma stone to kind of clean up the suede. It actually does a pretty good, quick job of cleaning suede. We'll use the stone and then we'll light it, light it a bit and then we'll like probably use the stone maybe even again or like a brush, like on the final step. And it does a pretty good job of cleaning up suede. There's not much else that I have found that you can do with suede. 
Yeah, these are in pretty good shape for being suede. Uh, this pair, we sell uh, the Prada like logo ballet flats all of the time. Um, these to me, they're not quite as desirable as like the ballet flats. But I still think we should be able to sell these for like probably 110, I would say, maybe 120 at most. Let's see what we gave for this pair. Okay, so it looks like we gave $49.06 for this pair. That's not too bad of a price considering their condition and that they have their Prada logo right there on the toes. Uh, if we sell these for 120 after fees and shipping, we should stand to profit about 50 on this pair. It's pretty good. Moving right along here, guys. We have only three pairs left to unbox for this video. Here we have what looks like a pair that comes with the box where they just kind of tape a really flimsy bag over it. Hopefully the box didn't get smashed. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like the box is in really good condition. Looks like they come with, so far, at least one dust bag. They have the original Gucci GG uh, paper. So what we have here is a pair of Gucci slip-on ballet flats. They have like a little horse bit design here on the toes. We have bought and sold this exact model a handful of times. Unfortunately, they have a moderate amount of heel wear. Just kind of checking these to make sure they're authentic. Because just because they come with a dust bag and box, it does not mean that they're authentic whatsoever. I've seen, I have seen uh, several fakes throughout the years that come with the box, a dust bag, a receipt even, but they are not genuine, but these are genuine. And aside from the heel wear, they're actually in pretty decent condition. To make sure it doesn't come with a second dust bag. Looks like it just comes with one, but at least it does come with one dust bag. Uh, the more things that are included with the box, the more we can sell it for and the faster it'll sell. It is the original box. It's like the original price was $400 for these, but this is a pretty vintage pair, so I imagine one of similar style nowadays is gonna be a little bit higher, maybe 100, 150 higher if I had to guess. Uh, these will clean up fairly nice. Let's see what we gave for this pair. Okay, so it looks like we gave a little bit more for these than what I would prefer to pay. We gave $68.13 for this pair. I would have been a lot happier uh, had we been able to get these for 45 to 50 at most. Um, but 68 is not a horrible deal. Since they do come with the original box and dust bag, I would say we can sell these for about 150. Feel pretty comfortable with that. Think any more they're gonna sit too long. We don't want that. After fees and shipping, we should stand a profit about 60 on this pair. And here we have a pair that looks like it was from eBay. Okay, so what we have here is a pretty nice pair of Prada like ankle boots. They are a blue suede. And for them being suede, it seems like they are in really good condition. Definitely happy with the condition of these. They're also very clean on the inside. It doesn't seem like whom uh, ever wore these before. They did not wear them very often. The suede could use a good brushing and a little bit of the lighter but it really does not need much at all. And at least it does have the Prada spell out there on the heel. Ideally, it would be somewhere else more visible, but at least it still is there. 
are honestly in overall very, very good condition. Let's see what we gave for this one. Okay, so it, it looks like we gave $53.50 for this pair of Prada pull-on ankle boots. Considering their condition, uh, I think we should be able to sell these for $130 to $140. Um, they're in good condition. They're nice and clean. They are a pretty nice style. They even have, it's like a hidden wedge actually in there. And we sell hidden wedge uh, shoes fairly well. I think that's a pretty good price point. Uh, after fees and shipping, we should stand to profit about 60 on this pair. It's pretty good. Last one we have here is another one from eBay. Looks like someone missed using the padded flat rate envelope. What we have here is a pair of Gucci slip-on ballet flats. They have like kind of a burgundy sequin design. Now this pair, these were listed as new and they are definitely not new. You can see they have a bit of wear to the heel here. Not only that, but probably won't be able to see it with the lighting, but they also have a footprint in the footbed, and new shoes will definitely not have that. Even a store model shouldn't have that, unless it's a store model that was on the, sh the uh, floor for a very long time. But yeah, they clearly have some wear here. They are not new at all. Um, so that's pretty disappointing. They are authentic, and it is nice they have like the GG on the back of the heel. Ideally it would be somewhere more visible, but at least it is there. They are in really good condition though, um, but they are not new whatsoever. They're... This is something that I'm going to have to speak to the seller about, because um, I know I gave more for these considering they were listed as new, and it was hard to tell what was going on with the pictures. Um, let's look up exactly what I gave for these. Just making sure that they're not falling apart in the back. Looks like they're sewn in. Because a lot of times, like, the shoes will show as sewn in, but they're actually not. Let's see what we gave for this one. Okay, so we gave $80.20 for this pair, which would have been an excellent deal had they actually been new. Uh, but since they are not, I think we can probably only sell these for maybe $130. Probably it's going to be the most. I can't really see getting much more. Maybe 140 we can stretch it, but I think 130 is fine. Um, after fees and shipping, we will stand to profit as it is now. Uh, $25 to $30 in this pair, however, I am going to be reaching out to the seller because they were not as described. They are definitely not new, I can tell. Uh, that actually is one thing I like about shoes, is that it's much easier to tell if a pair has been worn um, when you compare that to like selling clothes, like jeans and shirts, it's pretty hard to tell if it's been worn or not. But shoes, you can't like really hide the wear. If you know what you're looking for, that is at least. But yeah, I can definitely tell these have been worn before. Um, many times, not just a couple times. They've been worn like probably around five times, maybe more, six times. So that's unfortunate. Um, I think I will probably... I'll definitely be able to get a partial refund on this pair. I'm not quite sure how much I think is fair at this point. Um, but I would probably expect to like have that profit margin double. Because I think considering they're not actually new, it's kind of warranted. Um, so yeah, a little bit unfortunate. 
And that's uh, something that you will run into with online arbitrage from time to time. Uh, that's especially true with pairs that are listed as new, but they're actually not new. Um, I actually see that on honestly all the time. And when I'm looking at pairs that are listed as new, I really examine the pictures as much as possible, but how, like, however, they didn't have very many, looking at the listing, they didn't have very many pictures in this listing. And they even say, like, never worn in excellent condition, but they are definitely have been worn. Maybe they weren't worn by them, but they were worn by someone. Yeah, it happens from time to time. It's all right. Uh, they're definitely not a flop. They will be a flip, especially once we get a, a credit on these. Um, I think it's going to pretty much wrap up this video, guys. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good haul. Uh, before I let you go, I do want to kind of go over the overview here. I like to kind of do that, kind of give the grand idea of what to expect. So with these seven pairs, uh, the total revenue is $960. And these are all estimations, by the way. The total item cost is $401. The total profit is $390. But again, with the partial refund, it's going to sway these numbers just a little bit. So looking at the average per piece, the average revenue per piece in this is $137. The average item cost is $57. And the average profit is $56. So that's not too bad at all. Um, we have had better lots, but this one is not bad by any means. Uh, this is something that, these are the kind of numbers I am looking for with online arbitrage. We pretty much always sell these pairs for 130 to 150 each, and I pretty much have to pay about 50 each to get them, and we usually end up profiting about 50, 60 each pair. So it, it all pretty much adds up, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.